Well, after being diagnosed with a terminal illness and having to leave her job, one Burke Burnett woman is still doing everything she possibly can to help others and make the most out of every day. Here's the story of how she became our next Christmas Came Early recipient. Elizabeth Matthews was a dedicated employee at the Allred unit for over a decade. And unfortunately, she had to leave the job that she loved so much so she could focus on her health. I know a lot of the nurses and they're like, Liz, something's up, you're not right. Following lab testing, Liz was diagnosed with end-stage liver disease. As far as the transplant goes, there's too much scar tissue just from the surgeries I had when I was a baby and stuff like that. So it's not really going to be an option for me, I don't think, and I don't think they can. I think without a transplant, they give you like two, three years or something like that. So it is what it is. Outside of health complications, Liz is doing everything possible as a single mother to make sure that she doesn't lose her home and keeps food on the table for her kids. I mean, you have to take into account you have family, you have friends um, that are still here counting on you. And so you have to be there and make sure that they're happy and they get what they need. And whether they ask for it or not, you see that they need it, do what you can to help them out. Despite her own hardships, she is always willing to put other people's problems before her own. If somebody needs help, she's going to be the first one to help, you know. So that's, and that's just a true testament as to who she is. She's just always thinking of others. Yeah, I will always take care of other people. I mean, just, just strangers. I don't, I mean, it is, I would hope that people would do that for me if I was that person. Like people in the rain, people in the snow, people... You know, anything like that, because I feel like you have to have a positive outlook in life, period. Um, you have to be kind to others because you just don't know what they're going through. With the way that she is always putting everybody first, it's time for her to have her moment to where she can just have a little bit of breath in her life. And that's why we decided to surprise Liz as a Christmas Came Early recipient. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Come here, Liz. Is there a Liz in the house? There is. Hi. Hi, Liz. How are you? I'm Steve Fairchild with Hamilton Bryan. Nice to meet you. Someone has nominated you for a Christmas come early. Oh, thank you. We'd like to give you $500, and we hope this will come in handy at this time of year. Thank you. Isn't that cool? Yes, and I'm extremely grateful um, because now I don't have to stress so bad. You know, I'm already stressed like everybody else. I'm no different than anybody else. But, uh, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful to everyone, and thank you. And something fun that Liz told me was that she isn't, isn't usually big on Christmas or decorating, but she has a great Grinch-themed front porch because she knows her neighbors enjoy seeing it. That's just how nice she is. She that's just, so sweet. She loves being Thinking nice for other people. Yeah, and the Grinch... Oh, that's so cool. And that's very original, too, though. Right. <laughs> well, if you want to nominate someone, just head on over to TexomasHomepage.com and click on the Christmas Came Early tab under the contest section.